Bell Point Chief Strategist David Nelson. And David, I, I, how much should investors be worried about Doge, RFK Jr., and this goal of Cutting government spending, a lot of which goes to corporations and, and fatten those, fattens up those bottom lines. I think what we're trying to get a handle on right now is the rules of the game are changing. And until we understand those rules, committing capital right now is a, is a risk. And some of our favorite trades, we're going to have to maybe rethink that. You know, when was the last time people were talking about cost plus uh, contracts? I don't think anybody even knew what that was, at least not in the investment world. Right. But it, it, it's a dirty little secret in Washington. And just the sheer mention that Elon and Vivek are going to go after that it's going to hit the hammer to a lot of companies. But ultimately, investing is investing, right? I mean, I mean, because you, you have written that it's a new ball game, but the same rules, right? And so, uh, you said if if you're thinking about uh, uh, wipes, uh, if the, the, the above wipes out, you know, this uh, investing risk and changes the basic rules of investing. I'm here to say you're wrong. It may be a new ball game, but it's a game that has rules, and the question remains the same: what's working, what isn't, and what's next. That, that is the case right now. And, and what, we're, what we're dealing with right now, some of the things that we kind of had priced into the market, the idea that the Fed was going to keep on cutting, that seems to be going away. We're going to be lucky if we get just 50 basis points between now and the end of the first quarter. A month ago, we were looking at 150. Yeah. The fact that the 10-year continues to rise, uh, trust me, when we start to get towards 5% in the 10-year, it's going to be very much like October 2023. You think Stocks did not five? like that. You think we're going to get the I, th I think we're going to push higher. I I think we're going to be looking at yields above 5% sometime in the next couple of years. Will there be some sort of, a, if that happens, there's some sort of a recognition, even though the Fed will never admit it, that there's just a new target, like this 2% goal might be un unattainable, a 3% goal, the so-called neutral rate. Well, Wall Street, it seems to me, whatever the bad news is that always hurts the street, Wall Street ultimately adjusts. They embrace it and they say we live with it. And then all of a sudden, bad news no longer hits the way it once did. I, I don't think we're in danger of the Fed actually hiking. Uh, some are fearful of that. Uh, I think what, what, what it would take to, for that to happen, we'd actually have to see inflation start to accelerate, start to get above 3%. Right. They'll stay where they are or, or around here at this point if we don't see some action on, on inflation. But the idea that they will go into 3%, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime soon.